How's it going everyone? It's Nathan. Nathan's MRE and today we do have a very rare and special ration. This particular one is a food packet survival aircraft and life raft from 1990. Okay, so what it says on here is food packet survival aircraft and life raft. Uh, many, it's hard to read because it's so dark. Manufactured date February 1990. This is made by Synpac, Cincinnati, Ohio. And it says, uh, man, that's a tough one to read. Open bag carefully, retain bag to store unused ingredients by this, by tying securely with twine provided. And that's pretty much all it says. It just repeats itself down here in the back of it. It says the exact same thing. It does have a little tear nosh. Now this, these little rations have quite the unique story here. And got a little write up here I'll read off to you. It says, this ration was used in survival kits and life rafts of Navy aircraft intended for short-term use while awaiting rescue or airdrop of the supplies. It says, the Navy requirements were stringent. The packet must withstand extreme temperatures and changes. Be minimum cube of what? What? Be of minimum cube and weight. So minimum size and weight. Uh, and consistent of foods which will be beneficial even when water supply is critically limited. So, it should be interesting. I really have no idea what's in it. Um, so let's just open it up and see. Like I said, there's a tear notch on the side. I'm not expecting much. Oh, got some charms. Got some more charms. Charms. We have some little candy coated pieces of gum. And it looks like, these look like uh, the wintergreen gums from like a dark brown bag MRE. These on the other hand, I really don't know. We have a little pamphlet in here. We have a little piece of string to tie it back shut. It says instructions. The food in this packet is specially developed for survival use. We beneficial even when water supply is limited when entirely, when entirely consumed by one man in one day, the packet will maintain survival efficiency. Items must not be allowed to get wet, obviously. Uh, keep unused components in packet bag, packet, packet bag. Use twine placed in the old fold, in the fold, man, uh, to tie mouth of bag securely. So they really drive home over and over to tie it shut when you're done. I mean, it's just charms, right? So usually charms, these are actually pretty new charms. Usually these are in older rations. Uh, but I do remember Simpac did some brown bag stuff. What was it around 1990, 1992? And they had charms in those. We reviewed a few of those. The problem with charms are when they get hot, they melt and cause all kinds of issues and usually end up with little empty packets of charms. So we have... These are not assorted. Oh, they are assorted. So one has, oh, I see. I got you now. So this has four sides to it. One has cherry. I thought we had two different kinds here, but they are assorted. So they're exactly the same. I'm gonna crank this guy open. And we have, oh man, they're pristine. Well, I mean, as pristine as you could possibly get. We'll, we'll sacrifice one of these and we'll leave the other one whole. I'm not sure what we'll do with it, but uh, we'll do something with it. They're very pristine. There's one stuck in the bottom. I hate to cut that all the way down. We might have to, it doesn't really matter. Definitely not the first charms pack we had. Definitely not going to be the last. Yeah, I hear my phone going off. That's how it goes off. <laughs> so if I don't rush you guys back right away, that's because why. So, okay, we have uh, three of the grape. We have one lime. And I'm just looking at the thing here. We have one orange. It's maybe a grapefruit. Uh... Maybe pineapple, maybe. And these things are just so pristine. And one cherry. So 
I mean, obviously can't try them all on camera, but we know what all these are. Let's see what one of these are. And even the plastics just pristine on these. Usually it's all stuck to them. It looks like these have not gotten melted even one time. And look at that, there's even little bits. And I have to say, it tastes like they were made yesterday. They're absolutely perfect in every way. It must have been stored in a house or in a basement the whole entire life. Now, I did buy some other rations from the same guy and I expect those to be in the same condition. And some of those have never been before reviewed, just like this one on YouTube at least. So I'm curious to see what flavor gum this is. I've never seen that color ever before. Look at that. No smell to it. And wow, man, it's like a juicy fruit flavor and just awesome flavor. I wonder why they didn't keep doing these. This is excellent, especially if you don't like the different mints. Man, a really good little ration. I cannot be more happy with the quality of this bad boy. I feel very privileged to be able to review this in this kind of condition, uh, being this old. So that's going to be it, guys, for the food packet survival. Hope you like this one. Stay tuned the next day or so. We'll have another one out that's even more rare than this one. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.